Hello everybody, it is Badge Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers Tips video. Because this is a nifty little trick I've been using, and uh, I, I had... Sometimes you do things in Space Engineers, and you... It's... To you, it's so obvious. You don't think anyone else can do it until someone else says, Hey, you should do a video on this. And in this case, buddy of mine, Bronzy and uh, Chris we're wanting to get back into space engineers with me and we're going to be doing the we're going to be doing some space engineer stuff as a group probably also with um, Gomer Kyle and uh, all of us are going to hopefully be getting together here soon and we're going to be bringing out some really cool content but this was something that we were doing you know just a kind of a little test world that we're doing just to show off the new stuff because it's been a while since uh, Bronzy and Chris both played so there's all sorts of stuff they don't even know about the they don't even know you can make turrets. They, they don't know about the drones or how to make any of that stuff. We've been going through just stuff randomly showing them how to build things. So they can, you know, they can <clears throat> they can do more than just combat while we're there. <laughs> because, yeah, survival games, there's a lot to them. By the way, if y'all could be nice, just hit that like, comment in the video if you want. If you have any questions about anything that's been done or you have a suggestion for a video, please be... Th Please just feel free to comment. Also, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new. Because we're on the way to 1,500 subscribers. And I believe by the time this video comes out, it's going to be at 1,200. So, I want to thank y'all for that, that y'all have subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. So anyway, I'm showing y'all off. This is what I'm, I'm coming up with. So, there are ways of using some of these uh, designs. And a lot of times we, as space engineers, put so much into building something a certain way that we forget there are more ingenious ways of doing things. So this is kind of mid-tier where you're not ready to build something like a giant massive drill or you want to really optimize your resource gathering when you're getting stone or something. And I'd suggest if you build a base, build it next to an incline because what I'm about to show you here is really cool. What we have here are gather scoops, I believe that's what they're called. Let me see. All blocks. Collectors. Yeah, they're basically collectors here. And they're basically like, uh, for those of you that are in Minecraft graduating to Space Engineers, this is pretty much the funnel. Alright, you put this here, uh, but unlike the funnel, you can actually hook up piping to this. So, why is this here? Why is it in this little spot? I'll tell you. And this comes from an old saying of mine in my earlier videos, work, play smarter, not harder. Let me show you how we do this. <laughs> Let me show you how we do this. So I'm going to run right up here to our little mine that we have. And most of the time when you're using a hand drill, you will mine and press F while you're mining. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to mine the crap out of this rock here and not give a crap. Because I am going to let gravity do the work for me. And you're about to see here in just a minute just how lazy this is. So you can... Why, why do this? Well, you will, if you're playing with a group, even by yourself, there are moments where you'll be playing and you'll have to get materials and things like that. And uh, early game, it is a hassle not having mining equipment and not having anything that you can take out, like a rover or something, and go get what you need. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just mining a whole bunch of materials, just tearing them out, one right after another. And you can see all of this is going down now. What we're going to do is we're going to run down here, and you can see all our stone is just rolling down the hill. And you see, it's just going right into the deal. It is just being loaded up. You have one guy with uh, whose only job is just mine up there and that. You can see why we're doing that. It just rolls down the hill, hits this little funnel we've made, and it goes right into the collectors. And we have stone just being worked right now in the system. Let me hop in here and I'll show you. And as you can see here, we've got... 4,000 stone easily just being converted into ingots and stuff like that. I don't know, they got a, I think we got another 5,000 stone ready to go. So we, we pulled almost 10,000 stone just by doing that and letting it roll. 
Now, another advantage here is we've got this little vehicle early on. So sometimes you want to build like a mining vehicle. And this just works with what we did uh, with the system here. So let me pull the tab button up. You can see the, the system we got. This is really just a simple rover. Bronzy designed it, uh, the concept of it. And then I just added on a few things that I knew how to do. So first off, we're going to press 2. And we're going to turn off the pooper. Because we, we, have, we have determined that this is the pooper miner. Is what we have uh, determined it. And so how we mine with this thing is actually pretty simple. You just turn on the deal. And if you look over in the bottom right of the screen, you can see the weight is going up. That's because there's a little trick in here where you can just mine stuff. That's how we're, we're doing this. You just get the mining drill close to the ground. Drive your vehicle and it'll just start scooping up stuff off the very top just skims it is all it does that's what we're doing here and we've got this thing almost full now you can see right now it is it is starting to get slow so we're gonna bring it up here i've got to increase the strength on this and probably also increase the uh power to the wheels and everything so it can get from point to point b but we're gonna drive this thing over here and like i said this is just a test area this is just us me showing the guys all the new features in Space Engineers. Because a lot of these blocks, uh, the last time they played, were not here. I think the last time they did this was when I was uh, prototyping the healer. And that was... God, I want to say that was like... Two or three years ago. By the way, the almighty pooper miner. So we set this up here. And you can see we have an ejector on the back. Let me back up here so you can get a good look at it. And I just press 2. And you can see this thing just spits it out. Now, I know what the first thing people are going to say is, uh, Badger, you know you could put a big connector on the back and it would crap more out. Yeah, we were low on resources. <laughs> so, to get this thing <laughs> built so that we could have two guys mining from two different areas or, or have multiple guys mining, uh, to do that, we had to... Um, use the least amount so this small connector here has been a boon right now at the moment and yeah i will build a miner at some point that has all the advantages of this but in a bigger format don't know how that's going to work and this thing will actually just burrow into buildings or into the side of mountains and stuff for us but as you can see this is just a very simple way of emptying your miner you just build a ramp drive your miner over to it and uh, activate your connector a certain way. For those of you that are wondering how to do this, I'll give you a quick rundown on it. So, yeah, we've got a big connector on there already. Bronzy's already building one, so we can just chuck big stones out. Your small conveyor, you want to put it, or your conveyor, you want to set it to throw out on. And then your conveyor sorter, you want to set these to whitelist and put stone in the active filters or whatever material you want in there. So if you want, uh, let's see, if you want cobalt ore, you're going to have to put that in there. And I would just simply select it here and add it. Now, if we get cobalt ore in this, it'll just shove it right out the back end. And then the simple thing in that, we go to the G menu and we simply take our small connector and we give it to toggle block on and off so that when we're mining, we can turn it off and we're ready to deposit. We turn it back on. So it's just a very simple way of doing this. Like I said, uh, <clears throat> Space Engineers, this is like the best way I've found to get to a drill platform in-game because you're not carrying the mining ore. If you, the, the biggest problem with mining by hand is you run over and you start mining by hand. You fill up your inventory and then you got to run back and deposit it. With this method of using gravity in a ramp next to a, a wall or something, you just run up there and just hit this thing with your tool as long as possible. Wow, that that's gonna that's gonna get a joke in the comments. Anyway, you just run up there and just dig and don't collect anything. Just power up your drill, pound into there, and just watch all the materials just roll down the hill and get collected into the collectors here. And all your ores, all your stone, and everything that comes down hits this collector will just automatically be shoved into your base. Like I said, this is just the tent base until we build a really big base. That's why we have like an antenna and a couple of things here. I'm probably later on, I'm going to show the guys how to do like solar panels and stuff like that. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and uh, hope you guys have a wonderful time operating this and uh, hope you take this idea and do some fun with it hope it helps out your playthrough and get you from uh, start from nothing to production rather quickly anyway folks I am Badger Wild staying stay safe stay frosty have fun and uh, I will see you guys in the next video and I am signing out